And once again, these players want to make that Royale, so that is going to be extra motivation for them to win these sets, to get these high top four, top three, top two placements. And off rip, you talk about Cannon, but Gooey's already throwing that up. Game one here on Apocalypse. Oh, double okay. down signature off rip into the... Okay, let me let me hold my tongue here. He is definitely uh, abusing that Lin Fei kit 100%. Now, I know this is just the first 20 seconds into the game. Okay, Gui swapping over to the Katars. I was about to say, I'm not sure why he is, uh, wants to have Katars so much because the candidate is working out fine, but we're gonna have to, we're gonna be able to see now, hopefully, why he places so much faith into these Katars. Of course, as you mentioned, the Katars, they're an absolute staple. At this point, not only a staple, Gui doesn't have Katars as a staple, it's more like Katars has Gui as a staple. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I love the he, way he He's the Katars that. guy. He, he is, no, he, he is the Katars, man. He pilots that for sure, 100%. Um, I think he's gonna do pretty well. He's been playing better and better. Ever since I've known Gooey, it's like his placements just go up, which is really impressive. Like, you know, everyone has a bad tourney, a bad run, and, you know, they'll go from, like, 5th to 13th. If he catches the GC All right. like that's going to be the knockout already onto Java. But as I was saying, it seems like Gooey just gets better and better almost every single tourney he plays. And so far, coming off in this game 1 here, he's shown that to be the truth. We'll have to see. Java on the spear now to see if he can find that knockout going to be able to connect the recovery i'm expecting a second one he doesn't find the opportunity that he was looking for throwing out a couple of signature and gooey is not feeling confident in his punishes there throwing out an end light racking up with more damage java needs to find the knockout and needs to find it quickly the series is a really good start he wants to commit with the <laughs> he wants to commit with the unarmed offstage but he should have done better gooey is not going to be falling for that yeah definitely not Weapon throw engagement here, Gooey in the deep red. I think anything that knocks out at this point will do it. Oh no, the side air, he's gonna go out for the ground pound. Java still having that jump. Like I said, one of the hardest players to confirm off stage. Nice side air from Java. No, if that was a different player, maybe they would have gone to the wall. Maybe they would have gotten hit by that Gooey ground pound, but Java said, no, I know my options incredibly well. We making it back, but he is still in the red. Now on this spear that we're gonna see. Let's see what this Java spear is looking like. Sidelight comes out, wants to try and find a read off of it. Was expecting a second sideline, but Java was looking for something else. Racking up that damage incredibly well, so as well. Ooh. Neutral signature coming out from Gooey, though, and that is going to take him down to his last stock as he primes up a second pair of Katars. Java is falling further and further behind. Just last stock, he was having a hard time getting that knockout. You're going to have to be more efficient now where this is, GG. Absolutely. I think Gooey really utilizes that high dex Katars too, because all the strings he hits are so tight. So you have to be like really aware of your dodges and you know, your disadvantage state as I say that, catches that dodge away into the D-Light, into the Dare, catches the Ser, floating off stage. Gooey with the slide charge reverse side signature, throws out another GC unhinged man he says my frame data is crazy on this legend swaps to the cannon catches the neutral light no options incredible placement of that cannon and like taking his last stock only in two orange we with a very dominant win on this game one here apocalypse that was nice incredibly well jarvis gonna have to try and regain his composure here that was that was looking rough that was yeah for sure Java would find some hits here and there, but Gooey had the momentum the entire time. We might see a swap of momentum here in this game number two. Gooey seems like he's feeling himself. Just watching him play, I feel like you can feel the, the confidence, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just too clean on it. Yeah, the stars are definitely al aligning right now for Gooey, and... Um... Definitely not, definitely not in Java's favor though. Neutral signature coming out though. No, no options. Sweatbeats coming out. He did touch the ground there inside of the Katara sideline, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, recovery comes out. Gooey finding another read oh again with the confidence offstage. I oh smell my. another Sare. It comes out and that is going to be the stock. Gooey barely taking any damage. What is going on? Is this the Gooey? I don't know, Stein Sox. You mentioned this guy getting better. <laughs> you mentioned this guy getting better and better every single tournament. I'm thinking to myself, Gooey's way better than I than I remember I'm, no, him being. I'm, I'm telling you, man, he is a constantly evolving player. He is catching so many of these dodges and capitalizing on them perfectly. 
whether it's on stage, whether it's off stage, and he's getting a lot of damage rack up or just a straight up knockout, like all together, and that is going to be huge in his favor. Game number two here, stock lead. Java has evened up the damage a bit. He's got him in the red, but getting that knockout is going to be key. It is going to be crucial. That might be a punish there. Yes, it is. Okay. Using that side signature, free whiff punish, evens up the stocks. Now this is definitely looking a lot more doable for Java. I feel like Java at the end of that stock, he started kind of matching Gui's pace. He said, I can't... It, it, if you're just running around, running towards me, I can't stop you in your tracks. So I'm gonna have to be on my toes as well. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try and match that playstyle, which uh, we're seeing way more movement. We're seeing way more thrown out aerials, and it's working in Java's favor. It is a bit. I think he needs to find a bit more. Ooh, that would have been huge. The dare ground pound, because it's seeming like even with these trades, Gooey is finding these true combos. That's just having more damage. So we're going to see if Java has an answer to that because right now it is pretty even, but gooey has got the stage control, he's got the guitars, goes off of the cider, jumps up, hits the nair, picks up the cannon right underneath his feet. Java looking for a weapon here, slowly getting some unarmed attacks, but as I say, that goes for the GC downlight, hard punish by that cannon and neutral signature. Java on one stock, Gooey two in that orange. Java also needs to figure out how to beat Gooey's uh, offstage uh, on, on the uh, on, on the Qatars, which could e very easily be summarized to don't get hit by the Sayer, which is way easier said than done. For sure. Recovery comes out though, tries to follow it up with a second. Neutral signature into almost Ooh. the follow up, but Gooey is able to get that knockout. That's the thing too, is both of these legends are uh, lower defense. So they are going to be able to both get knockouts fairly early on each other. I believe if Java is on strength stance, then they should both be on four defense, which is basically the lowest. Oh my goodness. He picks it up off the ground pound, delay recovery. As I was saying, low, lowest defense stat line that you usually see in tournament is that four defense, and they're both rocking that. And now Java is in the red. We might be looking for a, a signature, but he might not need it either. The Sair off stage, Java making it back with that orb recovery. Such a good recovery to have. The D-Light Nair, racking up damage, the Sair might have caught the dodge. Ooh, Gooey makes it back, the recovery, not enough. Surprisingly, I think Apoc, just a bit of a higher ceiling map. Otherwise, that might have been Raps. Java's still in this, he still has a chance to 1-1 one, one this set. Amazing okay. option, the D-Light GC breakdance, wow. All right, both players looking for an opening now. It's anyone's knockout. It could just be one more hit. The neutral light comes out, tries to go for the dare off stage on the cannon. No going to be connecting though. Java gets back up with the spear sair. It's so tight right now. Just one hit could be the difference maker. Gooey gets it with the D light nair. That is going to be 2 0 on the board. That's a match point for Gooey. And he is indeed rocking that strength stance. So both legends on four defense coming in here. Game three, 2 0 for Gooey. Apocalypse once again. I mean, really the tournaments are just a reflection of the practice you have been putting in. And if you put a lot of dedication into a single legend, it looks like you're going to put a lot of dedication into the single legend in bracket as well. Java going back to the dusk. It has been working out quite well, but Gooey, man, give him a break with the offstage setup as well. It's not going to lead into anything. And this is the thing that's also kind of insulting. That looked insane. But if you look at the damage, I mean, Java gets like two side lights and it's even damage. That is true, because not only does Lin Fei have low defense, but also some of the lowest strength in the game. But does that really matter? It's seeming like Gooey just doesn't, he doesn't care about his low strength. Picks up that side signature, another knockout onto Java. A very, you know, I wouldn't say comfortable lead, but a solid lead at that. Not quite in the red, oh my and Lord. still racking up this damage. Java with the cider off stage. this could be really good. Makes it back. The recovery is going to add more on there. Going for that Nair exhaust recovery would have been the knockout. Still not able to find that Gooey with the neutral light. Java needs this knockout very soon if he wants to stay in this. That might be it. Yes, it is. High strength against that low defense cider. Evens up this stocks. I think if last game didn't take a toll on Java's mental, the first stock of Gooey might have. Mm. Really, really strong performance coming out, and Java playing from behind now. This is, I'm starting to feel a little bit of deja vu. Java just can't seem to get ahead of this matchup so far. 
But it looks oh. like that might change. Finding quite a good aerial streak here. Go for the second oh recovery my. all the way up. And it's going to be connecting as well. He's in the lead now. I stand corrected. Java has very much a fighting chance in this game. Gooey now playing from behind. Saw the cannon as well, which isn't his preferred weapon. Oh my gosh. He Java got the GC. deleted him in yellow. That was incredible. Yeah, Gooey on this cannon. Haven't seen too much of that quite yet for the most part. Uh, we've seen some knockouts on the cannon, which I am really glad he uses it for that. Oh no, might have been the wrong way there. Not too sure on that side signature. We full sending the ground pound off stage. Not able to find that. Does make it back though. Java definitely in the red on these Qatars. Might have a hard time finding that knockout if it isn't with the signature. But it seems like Gooey's definitely been on top of that. But he's already in the orange. Getting hit by that orb side signature is going to be so much damage. The D-Light Nair is going to take him off the top. Probably going to swap to those Qatars. Is Gooey still in this? Yes, he is, but he's in that orange and Java probably feeling a bit more confident now for <laughs> sure as that raw haymaker hits him on the left side of the stage. Gooey now in the red. He's able to connect that though. Trying to go for a read immediately. Java is saying that's not going to work. Not again. Try to set up the off stage as well. Java isn't falling for the same tricks anymore. Oh, the Sair. No. Still oh working quite gosh. well oh though, and that's gosh. no option! Sweatbeats no, could get no. He gets oh, the that's... mirror though! He got the chase dodge, and that's enough! <laughs> what is that ending of the game? Java <laughs> had it in the crazy. bag. Gooey almost snatches it, only for Java to somehow get back yet again. What was that, Snipe Socks? Literally all of his options, he read his soul, but uh, that big hitbox from the Nair saved Java and kept him in this entire set of point on this board, now running it back to Apocalypse. That was so hype. I mean, I, I, I feel like obviously you can go back and look at that replay and analyze what Gooey could have done to not get hit by the Spear Nair. He didn't have that many options, really. You go out to the side, you get hit by the Spear Sair, you're gonna get knocked out. You don't do anything and you stand below him, you can get Spear Nared and you're going to get knocked out. Java kind of had Gooey in a bit of, of a rough spot there uh, that Gooey really put himself in. Yeah, I do agree fully. Gooey, Gooey kind of full sent it, but he was on top of it, man. Java kept it in, he clutched up. That was honestly yeah, more a than very anything. Nice yeah, m more than anything, a really, really good uh, representation of Java being able to stay, you know, maintain his composure, even in the most stressful scenarios, 100%. able to get the hit that will matter. 100%. It seemed like uh, Apocalypse we... is kind of the map they're leaning towards too, and it has that smaller walls. So I do got to mention that because they are throwing each other off stage a lot. So it's not like these other maps where you have more wall to cling to. It's like when you're off stage, that's scary, man. Like you don't, you don't really have too many places to go. Catches the dodge oh, in, read the turnaround GC, and light recovery confirmed. Gooey is just so clean with the reads, like he gets them consistently, way too consistently, and it's just because of his knowledge of these guitars. He's been playing these guitars since day one, kind of, uh, oh once again, God. catching a dodge in, that's going to be so much Third damage. time. That's the oh. third time he's dodged in, and Gooey is, Gooey is definitely catching on. Java in the most stressful scenarios, you know those the, those dodge patterns. They're going to start to get a little bit a little bit whack. Yeah, I think if Java's not really like hyper focusing on mixing up those dodges, that he's gonna be in trouble. Does find that knockout though with that orb there. We have been seeing that a lot. Looking like he's wanting to stay on that orb, which is not something I see too often from Java. I think the last couple majors he's been locking in the dust. He's been priming that spear. He's been more comfortable on that spear. So maybe he's just going full weapon starve mode, not wanting to get gooey on this weapon, but he's doing incredibly okay. well. Okay. That GCD sig would have been devious. That I love him going Dude. For that. The amount of stress in this game so far is crazy. <laughs> the conditioning has a, so many layers by this point. Absolutely. Nair comes out, able to get a, a quick, simple read. Couple of errors coming out. Neutral signature, again. Maybe not even completely intentional to hit that, of course. Decent option nonetheless. Conditioning Ooh. yet again. He had options. He had a lot of options there. I thought for some reason he had a couple jumps left. Java did have the options in the back pocket. The dodge in again, Polly. Catching that D-Light recovery confirmed. That's like the third or fourth time. Not even in this game, or in this game, not even in this set alone has been probably, you know, double digits the amount of times. The Sarah, oh the God. Downer, no options, you can't make it It's back. over. It. You're not getting back, dude. Oh it's over. Gosh. 
Guichabu with the craziest gimp onto Java. The down air just sending him into the depths, off the stair, into another down. Once that third down air hit, that was just it, man. That was just it. A clean oh my zero to Lord. death from Gooey onto Java, moving into winner's side. That's going to be another medal for Gooey. Another guaranteed top three for Guichabu, the Qatar menace. I was saying Gooey was one of the best Qatar players in NA. He might just be the best Qatar player in the game. He really just might be. I know a lot of people play like Asuri or other different Qatar legends, but no one's doing it like Gooey at this top level. Maybe in like the ranked queue, 2500, 2600. He is doing this to Java. Java, these top 10, top 5 PR players. That is incredible, man. What a play coming out from Gooey.